Rick Hendrick just dropped the bombshell on Ross Chastain after the dramatic race at the Darlington Raceway. Despite taking all the blame for the late Darlington crash with Larson, Hendrick didn't think to spare Chastain. So what's going on with the drivers, and what did Larson have to say about this? Get stay tuned in NASCAR Zone as we delve deep into today's video. But before we dive into that, do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. First, let's take a look at Sunday's race and the winner. William Byron fell through and won the Goodyear 400 at Darlington after surviving a series of late race restarts that saw other contenders take one other out. Byron's win is the seventh of his career and his third of the 2023 season, establishing a new career record for wins in a season for the Charlotte NC driver. When a caution came out with 18 laps to go, Byron took advantage of two major collisions in turns one and two that occurred when other drivers at the front of the pack collided with the outside wall. Martin Truex Jr. caused a massive accident by shoving Joey Logano into the wall, and the next restart saw Byron sneak through while Ross Chastain and Kyle Larson were killed in a similar tragedy. Byron's victory contributed significantly to the heritage of the car he drives since it was victory number 100 for the Hendrick Motorsports number 24, made famous by Hall of Famer Jeff Gordon. Byron, who has driven the number 24 since 2018, wore a paint scheme similar to Gordon's in the 1998 Winston at Charlotte Motor Speedway to commemorate NASCAR's 50th anniversary. According to Byron's statement to Fox Sports, Yeah, I'm just thankful um, that I was able to, you know, get in this 24 car. Um, I was, you know, too young at the time, I feel like, but, uh, you know, growing up, maturing, and just having a great team around me, being able to build the core that we have. I have a great group of guys, uh, Rudy, Brandon McSwain, Tyler, my car chief, everybody on the team does a great job preparing good cars, and uh, we work hard at it. So it's nice to see it, you know, go our way once. Many of the other leaders' races collapsed over a pair of restarts, giving Byron the opportunity to win. When Ryan Newman spun with 18 laps to go, it was clear that Darlington's infamously difficult to run side by side through with enough room for effective turns would trap all of the day's top cars. Martin Truex Jr., who led the first two stages before losing track position due to a spin, would be the first to crash when he ran up the track and collided with Joey Logano, sending Logano into the wall and spinning Truex in front of traffic, resulting in a multi-car disaster. The drama created by the mishap, though, paled in contrast to what was about to occur between race leaders Kyle Larson and Ross Chastain. So what happened between the two drivers? And what did Hendrick warn Ross Chastain about? Car owner Rick Hendrick told Ross Chastain to be careful after he caused Kyle Larson to crash for the third time in the last four races. Hendrick said of Chastain, Has Ross Chastain crossed a line? I think you can ask any driver in here that he's wrecked. I've been involved with him. He, you know, he doesn't have to be that aggressive. And I guess at this, at this point in the race, maybe you're you're super aggressive, but you just don't run people up in the fence or, you know, just he's not gonna he's gonna make a lot of enemies. That it's hard to win a championship when you got a lot of paybacks out there. And uh, so I, he's got so much talent. I think if he just calmed down, that uh, there's a time in the race. Dale Earnhardt. Uh, told me, Dale Arndt Sr. told me one time, he said, you know, I won't name the driver who drove for me, but he said, uh, you know, he's got all the talent. He just doesn't know how to race. And, uh, and meaning he just knows when to race, when to push it. He's got a lot of talent, but he's making a lot of enemies out here. And I mean, Kyle now, this is, this, this one in Dover and, you know, it just, uh, it's, it's getting, Talladega, it's really getting old with these guys. And obviously these guys are competitors, but this is another Chevrolet driver. So um, I don't care if he's driving a Chevrolet, if he wrecks our cars. I don't care. And I've told Chevrolet that. If you wreck us, you're going to get it back. And if you don't do it, they'll run all over you. So, you know, I'm, I'm loyal to Chevrolet, but when somebody runs over us, then I expect my guys to hold their ground. And not, I'm not going to let them ask them to yield just because of the Chevrolet. Larson left the track without talking to reporters, so Hendrick's words filled the gap. Hendrick said this after one of his drivers, William Byron, 
won his third cup race at Darlington Raceway on Sunday, which was the most in the series. Chastain and Larson were fighting for the lead when something went wrong with six laps left. Chastain hit Larson, and then they hit each other again. The right back of Chastain hit the left front of Larson. The crash turned Chastain's car sideways and damaged the left front of Larson's car, ending his hopes of winning. Chastain said, as he left the infield care center. Full commit uh, <laughs> into one, and I got really tight uh, and drove up and, and turned myself. I, I wanted to squeeze him, I wanted to, I wanted to push him up. Uh, we had been trading back and forth all day, and, and uh, I wanted to, to push him up for sure, but definitely didn't want to turn myself in the wall. At Talladega, things started to go wrong between Chastain and Larson. When Chastain bumped into Noah Gragson at the front of the pack, it caused a domino effect that brought Larson down and put an end to his race. Larson came in 33rd place. The next week, at Dover, Chastain hit Brennan Poole in the back, which sent Poole's car up the track and into Larson, ending Larson's chances of winning. Larson came in 32nd place. After what happened on Sunday, Larson's crew boss, Cliff Daniels, asked him over the radio. Makes that three races now he's taken us out of. Chevrolet, good job, good job. Three races, so that one car is taken well, us out of. Conclusively, William Byron joined seven other drivers who have seven career cup victories with his seventh. Byron joins Ryan Blingy and Alex Bauman of Hendrick Motorsports, as well as Daryl Derringer, A.J. Foyt, Jamie Murray, Jim Reed, and Marshall Teague. The fact that several cars involved in the crash with 13 laps to go were allowed to keep their places made Sunday's finish even more controversial. Trux, Logano, and other drivers were among the cars that crashed at that time. Despite damage to all three of their cars, Kevin Harvick, Chase Elliott, and Brad Keselowski were able to hold on to their track positions long enough to finish second, third, and fourth, respectively. Bubba Wallace led the first lap and remained in the top five throughout the first stage, but a slow pit stop dropped him out of the top ten. Wallace would eventually regain his track position through a series of late restarts and finish fifth, his second top five in a row, and third of 2023, the most top fives Wallace has ever had through 13 races to begin a season. Harrison Burton benefited the most from the late race shift in the running order. Burton was a fixture in the top 20 throughout the day, driving in homage to the car that his father Jeff Burton drove to a career-best six wins in 1999. It's his first top 10 result of the year and his best overall finish since finishing 11th at Martinsville last year. Justin Haley, who finished 9th to take up his third top 10 of the season, and Todd Gilliland, who recovered from being swept up in a multi-car pileup on the backstretch to just miss out on a top 10 in his Elton Sawyer throwback, were also benefactors of the late race carnage. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. appeared to be enjoying the most complete race weekend of the year, qualifying third and running in the top 10 almost the whole race before a cut tire, spin, and pit road speeding penalty dropped him laps. Stenhouse would eventually recover to take 13th place. Everything that happened in the last 13 laps might not have happened if Christopher Bell had not been unlucky. Bell had been driving second before the caution with 18 laps remaining and came off pit road second, but he was summoned back after his crew feared they did not secure a wheel on his car. Bell would come in 14th place, Darlington's throwback weekend included a throwback driver, as Ryan Newman made his first start since 2021 under the wheel of Rick Ware Racing's number 51 Ford. Newman's car had the same paint scheme as the one he used to win his first career race in 2002, but his day did not go as smoothly as he was involved in two different crashes on his route to a 28th place finish. NASCAR returns to the foothills of Western North Carolina and Wilkes County. For the first time since 1996 for the all-star race at the famed and now resurrected North Wilkesboro Speedway. That race will air on FS1 next Sunday at 8 p.m. ET. So that is for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Tell us in the comments what you think about the video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more of our videos on NASCAR updates. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.